Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a new um, cigar review. It's a beautiful, beautiful evening. Sun's just starting to go down. And I'm sure by the time I'm done with this stick, it'll be nice and dark out. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy a cup of coffee and this cigar. This is a uh, um, La Aroma de Cuba, the Mi Amor. It's a, a Robusto 5x54 uh, stick with a deep wrapper. Really, really good smell in this. Rich, deep, um, kind of spicy chocolate or cocoa smell. That's on the wrapper on the foot, or the open end with the cigar. Get really, really sweet, kind of uh, sweet chocolate um, smell. A little bit of um, coffee in there. It just, it's, it's one of the nicest smelling um, cigars. Just you know, as it is, without even lighting it, that I've, I've ever experienced yet. Now the uh, La Aroma de Cuba, I believe is a um, sub-company or sub-brand of Ashton. So Ashton push the, puts this out. This stick was uh, $5.25 from pipesandcigars.com. It has a, uh, a box press on it. And it has a triple cap on there. Ugh. Smells good. All right, so I'm going to uh, start enjoying this cheapo little punch cutter. And I'm gonna take a little plug out of the back here. Then we'll toast it and smoke it. So perfect consistency on here. I've really fine tuned my uh, humidor to uh, what it's supposed to be. Ever seen these little punch cutters? They're very convenient. I really like this as opposed to a guillotine cutter. Just makes a perfect little hole in the back there. Really, really like these. Okay. So I'm going to use my uh, little Zycar pipe lighter to toast this. And what I want to do here is start drying out the end as well as start charring it. Just kind of roll it in your finger a little bit, get that an even burn all the way around. Because right, when you're starting your burn on your cigar, you want to make it even so it continues to burn even as you're smoking it. So It's not rocket science, guys. It's really, it's simple stuff. Once you've done it once or twice, you just do it automatically. Some people take this, uh, this kind of thing very seriously. Like any hobby, if this is just your hobby and you're really into it, of course, terminology and technique is going to be everything, and you're going to scoff at someone who's doing it wrong. But you really just want to be able to enjoy yourself. All right? That's the whole point here. If you can't enjoy yourself, why would you do it? All right. So the edges are kind of toasted. Now I want to just, just kind of get that center. Man, it is perfect out here, and it's still spring, so there's no bugs yet, really. Like, it's the beginning of spring. Actually, today is the official first day of spring. So, happy spring. Very cool stuff. All right, let's see. Beautiful. That's a beautiful ting. It's a beautiful ting, man. Okay. got a little uh, a spicy kick to it. Now the spiciness is really from the um, uh, the wrapper. Okay, my lips touching the bare uh, tobacco on the end is what's giving me a little bit of that spice. And um, I don't know if it's necessarily the beginning of the uh, the smoking here or not. Jesus. I guess that, that goose is a viewer. <laughs> He's telling me, speed it up. We don't like these long videos. So, uh, Initially, it is um, quite spicy. Not something I'm particularly looking in or looking for in a cigar, but um, the flavor overall in the initial light here is just um, straightforward uh, tobacco flavor, um, but deep. You know, it's rich. It's it's complex. It doesn't 
It doesn't taste like cheap tobacco. It tastes like, um, you know, quality. By the way, speaking of the tobacco, this is a, um, a Nicaraguan cigar. Full and true, you know, the wrapper and the binder. Um, or excuse me, the, uh, the binder and the filler are all Nicaraguan tobaccos, so. Truly a uh, Nicaraguan cigar, or stick. But yeah, initially just a little bit of spice on here. Spice is nice, but uh, you guys know me, I have spice in every part of my life. I don't necessarily need it when I'm smoking, so it's not something I'm looking for, but hopefully after the, uh, the first third it'll mellow out a little bit and uh, we'll get into some other flavors, but we'll see. I will get back with you when I get to roughly, yeah, right before that, that second ring, you know, or second wrapper rather. It's right around there. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. <clears throat> that ash has held on since the beginning. <laughs> just wanted to show you that I'm trying not to ash on purpose. A lot of people just said this, you know, it's part of a review. Normally I do ash, but it's coming up on that first ring, so it's got to go sometime. But you can see it's held on pretty good thus far. And I'm not trying to baby it on purpose, but I'm not trying to bang it around on purpose either. I have to ash because it's going to hit that paper any second. But you can see the construction is... Uh, Pretty darn amazing for it to hold on that long. So it's about to start burning paper and I don't want to smoke paper. So how sad. <laughs> so anyway, now I can play quickly do it. There we go. Slip the little ring right off. <laughs> so anyway, I might as well give you a uh, little update here. So far, um, I really like it, and it's surprising to me because it's a um, kind of a medium-bodied cigar. There's not a whole lot of like dessert flavors, and that's kind of like what I'm looking for. And I'm looking for a lot of flavor changes as well. And I'm not getting that in this. This is basically like a straight tobacco flavor with just a very, very subtle hint of chocolate. Um, but I like it. I really like it. It's a good smoke. Um, what I really like about this is the aroma that comes off of the cigar while it's burning, like the room note. If you happen to smoke this inside, um, as long as you're not like hot boxing a room, it's very, very pleasant. Uh, I really like the smell. Um, kind of like an aromatic pipe tobacco, only it's a very distinctive cigar tobacco. I mean, you wouldn't mistake in this for, for someone smoking a pipe. It's definitely a cigar smell, but very pleasant. And the, uh, the room note's very sweet. And I like it. So, so far I do consider it medium bodied and sweet. So maybe a nice after dinner smoke. It just doesn't have anything specific flavor wise other than good high quality tobacco. But anyway, you can see where I'm at with the cigar. I'm going to uh, do another little update when I hit the beginning of the next ring. And then we'll go from there. All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting there. The problem is I'm losing light and I'm losing it fast. So I would imagine within the next 10 minutes or so, um, it's going to be pitch black here. So I'm just going to finish this up. I'm going to take the band off right now. And uh, as soon as I'm done with it, I'll go inside and finish this video on the webcam. I really like this cigar. It, it's strange because this is not something that I'm specifically looking for in a cigar. I really am looking for uh, a lot of complexity. I'm looking for um, all kinds of different flavor changes and just a um, just a wave of different experiences within one stick. And this did not provide that. This was a very consistent stick in that um, it was basically the same straight flavor the entire time, which was mostly just a straight tobacco flavor. Um, there's a little hint of, of chocolate, but um, not in a sweet manner at all um just kind of like a cocoa powder chocolatey thing going on um very earthy uh i did i will say that it started and for most of the stick it was medium bodied um towards the last third it, def it definitely got heavier bodied and i did get a, uh, a nicotine buzz from it which i did not like uh, that's something i definitely do not like my body 
um, doesn't react well with a lot of nicotine and I actually get a little I start to get a little bit of nausea and uh, if I continue smoking much after that uh, you get just a uh, straight up sick feeling so that's not something I particularly like it did get a little heavier towards the uh, the tail end there but still very manageable it smoked great construction was was perfect on this one the draw was beautiful on it so um, you know as far as the mechanics of it smoking you know spot on is a really really good cigar uh, high quality uh, very nice room note I think it wouldn't be very offensive it's just that just common really nice cigar smell you know if you happen to like that thing this certainly puts that consistency out there um, but overall like I said it, it kind of a surprise to me because it's definitely not something I'm looking for in a cigar but I did find that I enjoyed this quite a bit and if this was something that I had the opportunity to smoke again in the future um, I would certainly grab the opportunity and I enjoy another one so that's all thanks for watching guys I appreciate it as always hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day take care